Hi everyone, this video will demonstrate on how to perform quantitative data analysis based on the research objective. Okay, on the first part, I will explain on how to run data analysis for descriptive statistic analysis on how to compare two independent groups and analysis on comparing more than two independent groups. Selection of data analysis should be based on research objective. For example, here, okay, let's say if your research objective is to determine whether average age of getting married among women in Malaysia is greater than 30, so appropriate method of data analysis is one sample t-test. If your research objective is to compare level of awareness towards cleanliness of toilet between male and female, so there are two groups that you want to compare here, so the appropriate method of data analysis is independent sample t-test. And then if you want to, to measure the effectiveness of visit Malaysia campaign before and after COVID-19 outbreak, okay, so the appropriate method of data analysis is dependent sample t-test. And then, if the research objective is to distinguish the difference in level of preference towards e-wallet among races, okay, so races, there are more than two groups, so the appropriate method of data analysis is ANOVA. Okay, and then if your research objective is to identify the factors that cause depression among lecturers, so the appropriate method of data analysis is the multiple linear regression you can determine the appropriate method of data analysis based on the literature review okay so the first analysis okay, you can do is a descriptive statistic where in descriptive uh, in descriptive statistic we describe the basic features of data using tables graph uh, summary of statistics Descriptive of statistics is based on the type of measurement of the data. Okay, if your data is in nominal and ordinal form, so you can uh, present your data in a table form or graph. For table, okay, you can use a frequency table, cross tabulation, mode, and for ordinal, you can use the median. Okay, and then you can present or you can visualize your data using graph is either pie chart or bar chart. If your data is in interval and ratio form, uh, you can describe your data using summary of statistics such as mean, variance, standard error, skewness, ketosis, median, uh, minimum, maximum and so forth. Okay, and then for graph, you can use the histogram, box plot, stem and leaf to determine the distribution of the data. So this is one of the example on how you can write a descriptive statistic. Um, so this is the pie chart. This is the data is in an ordinal form. So the interpretation, most of the respondents are in the level of intermediate proficiency on the internet. So highlight the most important and then not more than 30% are well versed internet user while very small proportions are in category of beginner. Okay, and then this is an example of the data in a nominal form. Okay. So this is actually category of problem of online shopping. Okay. So majority the problem of online shopping is delay in delivery. So I put in a bracket the percentage 96%. Followed by cheap quality of product 30%. With the other problems such as problem damage, non-delivery and request for cancellation. But being ignored are accounted less than 20%. So I just combine these three. Okay, because the prop, uh, the the percentage are less than twenty percent, so I just combine these three factors into one. Okay, um, if your data is in interval or ratio form, okay, so you can use 
uh, summary of statistic and uh, histogram or box plot to visualize the distribution of the data okay so how to do that okay you can go to analyze okay um but before that okay let's see uh if i want okay uh, to describe okay the the convenience score okay how do i get the convenience score actually i just go to analyze okay compute variable Okay, remember the last time when we do the factor analysis for the convenience score, there are four item. Okay, so I just come up with a new variable which is named as convenience. Okay, and then I compute the mean for this four item that measure the convenience score. Go to the statistical, sorry, and then find the mean and then. Uh, Okay, the four items are S6, S7, okay, and then S11 and S14. This is based on the, uh, this is based on the uh, factor analysis, okay. And then you can just click OK and then the variable of convenience okay, will appear. Okay, so in this case, okay, so I dah construct, okay, the variable of convenience, informative, time, cost, security, uh, habits ni saya tambah semua ni, S1 until S14 and then get the mean. Okay, and then I will use this variable uh, in the in the further analysis later on okay so for convenience okay, let's say if i want to um, do some descriptive okay on the convenience factor okay so i just go to analyze okay and then choose uh, descriptive statistics okay and then explore okay so the deep analysis okay choose convenience here and then for plots, okay, and then uh, choose histogram and then normality plot with test. Continue and then click OK. Okay, so this is the output. We have the descriptive analysis, the test of normality, okay, histogram, the QQ plot, okay, and then support with the, um, the box and plot. Uh, sorry, the box and whiskers plot. Okay, and then how to describe this one. Okay, how to report. Okay, so you can see that on the average, the score for convenience score, a convenience factor is 3.4 with standard deviation 0.718. The lowest score recorded is 2 while the highest is 5. This is the minimum and the maximum. The mean score is 95% false between 3.18 and 3.65. Um... And then report the squeeness and ketosis. Okay, close to zero convenience score can be assumed follows normal distribution. The result of Shapiro Wilk test support the normality assumption of convenience score. Okay, the p value 0 0.27 actually ni salah dan actually is greater than 0 0.05. Okay, so based on this one. Okay, so the Shapiro Wilk 0 0.27. So actually there are two tests of normality which one to choose okay if the number of sample is greater than 200 you choose Shapiro wheel if your sample size greater than 200 okay you choose Komograph Sminov so in this case my data set is less than 200 so I choose Shapiro wheel so the seed value 0 0.27 okay greater than 0 0.05 so indicate that there indicate that the data is normally distributed okay and then we uh, plot the uh, box and whiskers plot to support the normality assumption so figure 1 display the bell shape distribution of convenience score that strongly indicate normality assumption is satisfied and then please bear in mind okay when you want to describe the figure or if you want to describe the table so please mention okay figure one figure two don't use figure above or figure below figure on the next page okay so use numbering okay to indicate the 
figure